hi welcome back to my youtube channel civil engineering easy in this video i will show you how to find out the support reaction of a beam as shown in the figure consider a 60 kip force make an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal and 10 feet distance from support a we need to find out the horizontal reaction and vertical reaction at point a and vertical reaction at point b at point a we have only two unknown that is ax and ay because hinge resist two reaction in order to find out the support reaction first we will convert the inclined load to its rectangular component one is vertical component and another one is horizontal component the vertical component will be equal to 60 into sine of 60 degree and the horizontal component will be equal to 60 into cos of 60 degree to find out the horizontal reaction ax we will apply the equilibrium equation that is summation of f of x is equal to 0. Consider a force is acting at a right world on the beam is positive and the force acting leftward is a negative. The rightward force is acting on the beam is ax. The left force acting on the beam is minus 60 into cos of 60 degree. The algebraic summation of all these forces acting in the horizontal direction must be equal to 0 and added to satisfy the equilibrium equation. By calculation, we get the Ax equal to 60 into cos of 60 degree. By simplification, we get Ax is equal to 30 kips. In order to find out the vertical reaction Ay and By, we need to apply another condition of equilibrium that is summation of the forces acting along a y-axis must be equal to zero, take upward forces positive and downward forces negative. Two forces Ay and By acting in vertical direction take it as a positive. The only downward force is 60 into sine of 60 degree, so take it as a negative. The algebraic summation of all these forces must be equal to zero. We have two unknown in this equation. We cannot find out the two unknown from a single equation. So we need another equation in order to find out the value of Ay or By. So for that, we will take the summation of the moment at point A equal to zero. Consider a clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment negative. Ay and Ax cannot produce a moment at a point A. So for these forces, the moment is equal to zero. By forces create an anti-clockwise moment in a distance of 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 feet. We will take it as a negative. By is a force and 14 feet is a distance and it creates negative moment. Take it as a negative. Another force that is vertical 60 into sine of 60 degree create a clockwise moment in 10 feet distance. So take it as a positive. 60 into sine of 60 degree multiply by 10 feet and create a clockwise moment so take it as a positive the moment applied at the free end is a clockwise so take it as a positive this beam is one feet thick and the 60 into cos of 60 degree component must produce a moment of anti-clockwise at point a so take it as a negative 60 into cos of 60 degree into one feet is the thickness of the beam the algebraic summation of all these moments must be equal to zero. By simplification, we will get the value of By is equal to 38.5 kips. We have found out the value of By, so we can find out the value of Ay from this equation that will be equal to minus By plus 60 into sine of 60 degree ay will be equal to minus the value of b is 38.5 plus 60 into sine of 60 degree by calculation we will get the value of ay is equal to 13.46 kips 